Apple is the most valuable publicly listed firm in the world, similar to how Tesla is well known. Despite this, Elon Musk is always waging a recruiting war with Apple. In today's video, we'll discover how far Elon Musk is willing to go in declaring war on Apple. Elon Musk is renowned for being vocal on Twitter. So it came as no surprise when he brazenly declared a few months ago that Tesla may overtake Apple in a matter of months. Not long after, on Holmar's blog, a discussion on Tesla's market value erupted on Twitter. This account is renowned for pushing Tesla stuff on Twitter, so he tweeted Elon Musk's statement that Tesla will be bigger than Apple. Then Musk answered yes, stating that he believes Tesla has a larger than 0% probability of becoming the largest corporation. When another user commented, I adore the direction of that arrow, Musk responded quickly, the electric company might reach the size of an Apple this year. I'm not sure whether Musk considered what he said before commenting. It's an underestimate, given Tesla's current market worth is $820 billion, which is significantly less than Apple's current market value of $2.3 trillion. This is most likely why he erased the tweet immediately after it was made. But unfortunately, many individuals had screenshotted it and circulated it around the internet before it was deleted. During an earnings call earlier this year, Elon Musk slammed Apple's business strategy of stringent compatibility management. Apple, he said, is a bully who prevents others from functioning effectively. That's why Musk wants to work with Tesla in an entirely different setting. Tesla's goal, he claims, is not to build a walled garden and exploit it to stifle competition, as other corporations do. Of course, you're familiar with the corporation he's talking about, Apple. Our objective is to encourage the advent of sustainable energy, he declared in response to what he believes is Apple's anti-competitive behavior. It is not to build a walled garden and exploit it to suffocate our competition, as some firms do. Let's take a look at how this applies to Apple. Apple's iPhone is structured in such a manner that it can only run apps that have been approved by Apple and are available in their app store. Tesla's fast charging points, on the other hand, will not be limited to Tesla electric vehicles, according to Musk. Other electric vehicles will be able to access Tesla's vast network of fast charging stations. Perhaps the reason for Elon Musk's remark that Tesla might grow bigger than Apple and destroy Apple's dominance in the IT sector is because of the unfair practices that he thinks Apple is promoting. Musk dubbed Apple App Store fees a de facto worldwide tax on the internet. In a tweet on a Friday afternoon in July 2021, Elon Musk isn't the only one who refers to Apple in this manner. Apple has been suffering increasing setbacks from the European Union in recent years. Apple was recently accused of breaching antitrust regulations by the European Union. You could be asking yourself how. According to Margaret Vestigar, the European Union's antitrust chief, imposing rigid standards on the App Store disadvantages rival businesses and deprives customers of cheaper options, therefore distorting competition. There is no doubt that Musk has declared war on Apple, both directly and indirectly, based on his statements and criticism. But can Musk genuinely defeat Apple? When I think about it, there was a moment when Apple hired at least 46 workers from Tesla's workforces, including software engineers, supply chain experts, and manufacturing. Tesla's former senior vice president of engineering Doug Field and Tesla's former engineer Christopher Moore have been named to Apple's board of directors. Could this be the cause for Elon Musk's hostile attitude toward Apple? There was a period when Musk said that Apple employed employees who had previously been sacked. We usually jokingly refer to Apple as the Tesla graveyard, Musk added. You go to Apple if you don't make it at Tesla. This may appear to be a joke, but it isn't. As he declared flatly, I'm not kidding. Musk replied to Apple's announcement of an Apple-branded microfiber towel with a tweet of a ruffle emoji rolling around on the floor laughing. Tesla introduced the Cyber Whistle, which was inspired by Tesla's Cybertruck design and cost $50, about a month after the Apple cloth was released. You'll agree with me that Elon Musk designed this Cyber Whistle to mock Apple's microfiber cloth. This is corroborated by his tweet, in which he stated that Tesla has a new product for Tesla fans. A whistle. Instead of wasting your money on that useless Apple cloth, invest in our whistle. 
You are probably aware that Musk is highly vocal on social media, in contrast to Tim Cook, Apple's CEO, who has kept mute in the face of Musk's mocking. But would Musk's comments have a significant influence on the ongoing tech war? This will be all for today's video. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you later.